Hey people, what's going on? It's Monday and I feel like <clears throat> we kind of chatting to you a little bit. Um, you know, life is interesting. Mankind, you know, we really are uh, quite a piece of work. Mankind is, you know, we're just really, we're just really a mess right now. Hold on a second. Let me get something I want to talk about. Okay, I want to. So, um, I want to talk a little bit about some um, about about humans, about music, um, and about music. I do spend um, a fair amount of time on Facebook when I'm at home playing records, doing nothing. I'll have it on, and I will. Uh, go back and forth interacting with people as I do my thing here in the room and um, I for one enjoy it I, I get constant fairly constant feedback from different friends and people I know who say they have to take a break they feel like they're getting addicted to it and it's like I, I don't particularly care you know whether I'm addicted or not you know it's not an issue for me I, I use it and uh, I'm enjoying it so I do it um, my page gets a lot of traffic and um, it seems that posts about my music or about things I do do garner attention so a local music promoter yesterday for some reason just felt like praising my old band Digital Sex Mark Manor is his name I know that Omaha's watched this so this will be interesting to see how this video um, goes there shouldn't be any fallout because I don't intend to say anything stupidly controversial I do intend to share my opinion though <laughs> which seems to be controversial enough you know I have commented online and I've made videos several times recently about the insane nature of man's thinking and how people are unaware of it how everything is coming through our perceptions and we just assume it's real so how quickly people lose their composure and get emotionally um, upset because of things people say and do, completely forgetting facts all of a sudden. Oh, that's a person doing something according to what's in his mind, you know. Why should I assume that he's going to do what I think he should do or what I would do? This doesn't seem to be op in, uh, in the operating manual for most humans. And so we have constant conflict merely because of differences of opinion. So what I'm getting at is Mark made a post about how much he loves Digital Sex, the band. He was a very big fan of us. Um, big booster of our the singer, Steve Sheehan. And um, he said something very nice, you know, um, that we're one of the best, we're one of Nebraska's best. You know, I wouldn't go that far, but I would say that, you know, we've made our mark as a band, Digital Sex made its mark, and we were ahead of the times. That is a fact. When we, what we were playing at the time, no one else was playing it, mainly because the main stream of people didn't know about the music. So we introduced people to stuff like Wire and Joy Division and Comset Angels and more obscure, bands like the names we were playing those bands contemporary with them playing the cure we played killing an arab which of course now is completely politically um uh, uh incorrect because people don't aren't literate don't know the origins of the the song and the writer the book you know that it was um, inspired by we played that song introduced a lot of people to the cure and new order Anyway, a young lady who I don't know but is apparently a local writer um, adds her two cents and de basically denigrates the band. Says if digital sex was the best that Nebraska has to offer and Nebraska ain't, uh, has nothing to offer in so many words. Now, because I'm constantly working on this information that I share, which is work through taking what people say personally because it's merely a reflection of their perception 
It's not a reality, you know. It's their reality. It doesn't have to be mine just because they said it. So, you know, I thought I understood the, the lady's words and, you know, kind of raised a slight hackle because I'm human, but I went to this information and brought it back down as well. That's what she thinks. However, almost everybody else in this thread, and you can go and read it on Facebook if, you, if you're a friend of mine, you can follow, you can find this thread and follow it. People got way upset, way upset, you know. One person even had to call the woman a dirty word, you know. And it's just another example of, to me, the insanity of mankind. We say that we're civilized and we're thinking, but it seems like every chance we have an opportunity to think, people show the opposite, that we don't think. We just emotionally explode. I get up, this all happened last night. I get up this morning and there's this long personal message sent to me by the woman who I do not know apologizing, you know, saying apparently I need to apologize to you because everybody think I was trying to insult you personally. I got that she wasn't insulting me personally. She uh, had an opinion about the music, you know, it wasn't favorable. I can handle that. I'm, a, I'm an artist. I understand. Of course, you want everyone to love you. But everyone doesn't, and so we just have to deal with it, you know. Um, it's interesting how people who are close to you or close to what you've done feel ownership to the point that they think that they can tell the story. But I'm held to, here to tell you the story. Digital Sex was four and at one time five people. A band is all of the members. But who started the band? I will never um, stray from this because it's a fact. I started the band, not me and Steve Sheehan. I started the band, you know, and I think that some people don't like that because the deal is I made a video in, years ago and deleted it because it caused a, a lot of controversy. You know, I said things I thought were known. <laughs> I won't repeat them. I won't. People are so get butt hurt so quickly. But I put an ad out looking for musicians and the only person that answered the ad was Steve Sheehan. But I already had the music, I already had the concept for the music. I didn't start the band, the music part of the band with Sheehan. I had that, in, and I have the tapes, the home recordings where I've written the music and played it all myself and have versions of these songs before Steve wrote words for them. I have all this proof, so that's why I stand so solidly on my position that, you know, I started the band and I will, my position on it is, it's firm, okay? I lost, I was kicked out of my own band due to my own irresponsibility for a while. I was doing a lot of drugs at that time and certain aspects of what happened are very murky to me to this day. But one thing is for sure, I started the fucking band and I named it and I wrote most of the music and set the template for the sound not the white people in the band. And I got to say it like that because that's that's where some of the controversy comes from is that there is this lingering perception that I was just a member. No, that was my band. Proudly I say that because the music was so um, new wave, you kind of Euro sounding, uh, not what you would expect from a black guy, okay? So, you know, that's why I make sure to always try to set this straight, okay? It's not a diss on any of the other members or, or the singer Steve. I want people to know that was my baby. And I understand that um, the lady said what she said, and it's no skin off my nose. I accept her apology. apology. I wish that somehow I could you know, encourage more people to slow down and think and st instead of just reacting. N notice the word react. It's like you have, when you react, you, you step out of the here and now. You're now redoing something as opposed to freshly approaching something that just occurred. So when I 
when I temper my emotions and say, okay, just what happened? What's going on? Why do I feel this? It's so helpful because a lot of times I'm able to come to the conclusion, there is absolutely no reason for me to take personally or be upset about what this person said. I may disagree with it. I may not, you know, I may not like it. I don't like it, but it's so what? It's in their head. Just because they said it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be a reality. What's, what's sad is how we take words and make them reality through our actions, which is what's really unfortunate about hate and um, racism because this planet is just exploding with violence and hate and blind emotion. You know, we just, I can't listen to the news. I can't turn the radio on because everything is about death and killing death and power and insanity and how mankind is not going to get it together anytime soon. Everyone's talking absolute shit, completely missing the point of the value and sanctity of life and just shooting everything up, trying to accomplish what? So I want to get on and talk about that for a minute. You know, this is what I'll say. Obviously, the band is good and the music is good because even now, I made this album back in 1983-84. It's 2015, still causing controversy and fights. I made a good record. This is good music. <laughs> That's what I have to say about that. That's the main message I have. I have some records here to talk about, but you know, the main thing I want to just do is just always reflect how I'm seeing the, just the way the world is just really topsy-turvy, you know. I'm supposed to be one of the perpetrators, one of the black, dark-skinned perpetrators who can't be trusted when he walks into a store, and yet my whole message is about humaneness, about loving one another and trying to get it together. You know, the world is crazy. <laughs> 